What's Cooking? Sponsored by Great Foods. Hi everyone, I'm Chef Ben. Compliments of the season and a Merry Christmas to everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to bake a ham. Today we have a beautiful picnic ham from Great Foods and I'm taking you through the entire process of doing a nice mustard and honey glazed ham. When you get your ham, it's going to be in a netted packaging like this. So you want to remove that. You're going to be left with plastic. So you want to take that plastic off because under the plastic, you're also going to encounter a net. So you want to turn it over and here's our netting. You want to go pretty close because that helps you from pulling away parts of the ham when you remove the netting. So once you've removed your netting, you're going to take some dry paper towel. And what you want to do now is just kind of press the paper towel into the ham to remove any extra moisture. You want to ensure that your ham is at room temperature or at the very least thawed out completely. I'm taking a very sharp knife and this ham has a pretty small piece of skin and I'm going to take the skin off and we're going to score it. So scoring your ham is just using a nice sharp knife and you're gonna make cuts in your ham in a cross hatch pattern. So now I'm going to be putting the cloves into the ham. So I have a roasting pan here and I've put a big piece of foil because you want to completely cover the ham in foil. I've preheated the oven to 350 Fahrenheit. Now the age old question, how long to bake the ham? So a good guide if you don't have a thermometer is that you wanna bake it for 25 minutes per kilogram. So this ham, it actually weighs seven and three quarter pounds, which is just over three kilograms. So this ham is going to take about an hour and 30 minutes in the oven. So once your ham has started baking, you can get started on the glaze. I'm gonna bake the ham for an hour and then start glazing it in the last 30 minutes of baking in 10 minute increments. So that's going to be three sets of glazing. So I have a little saucepan here and it's on medium to low heat some good quality local honey. I have about a quarter cup and I have two tablespoons of mustard and I've opened a can of pineapple because ham and pineapple. Once your glaze comes to a boil, you just wanna cook it for maybe five minutes and make sure it's nice and rich and thick. So after an hour, our ham is out of the oven. We're gonna take a brush and we wanna glaze our ham with our honey and mustard. At this point, I'm not going to put the foil back in. We're leaving it uncovered and it's gonna go in for 10 minutes. I'll take it out, glaze it again, put it back for another 10 minutes and glaze it a final time. So guys, our ham came out of the oven. I let it cool down for about 15 minutes and then I decided to slice into it because I was too excited. It's so beautiful. The aroma is so rich. It makes you feel like Christmas. What's Cooking? Sponsored by Great Foods.